Good day and welcome to Trap Games. I'm Dan and I'm going to show you today some of my uh, clock designs that I usually work or pulse designs. Um, I usually simply use um, this setup, a piston, and under here there is a torch, a block, and a short circuit. So uh, this um, is to use to get the piston extended so the clock won't run. So if I pull this off you can see as when the piston retracts uh, the torch will give a signal to the block which then will go to the piston which will make it extend again by um, increasing uh, the amount of ticks here you can have a very slow clock or you can have a very fast clock just don't usually do that when you're messing around and also here you can see the output you can actually get from or you can just get your output from here it doesn't really matter i like it a bit more using it from um from a different output than using your clock output so to say so if i just go ahead and turn it off um the great thing about this design it also gives you the ability to pulse um if a uh, max of three times now uh, when you press a button, so if I press this button, you can actually see that it's pulsing three times. That's because this circuit, um, this clock is activated for such a duration it actually can count up to five. And one also great thing of this clock is it's interruptible for let's say you hook this output to a counter and when the counter is full you want the clock to stop. You um, let's say this is the signal from the counter that it's actually full so when this happens the clock gets reset and it doesn't matter if I turn it on or off it will turn it off by itself so that's a great way to protect um, any more inputs getting out because as soon as you hit this no extra pulses will be sent out because because well you need to for a pulse you need this piston to be retracted and with this you actually extend it which causes no pulse to come near your uh, counter or what you you gonna use the pulse for this is usually the setup that I actually uses this holds a a memory cell which basically is when you set it this block is not a longer is no longer above this redstone torch which powered this piston now it, uh, it will pulse out um, it start will start the, his clock and it will just keep going until you give it reset so if I give this reset a signal will go to this piston to extend it so it will stop um, pulsing and will also send to this one which will make sure it locks so if I press this button you can see the piston is now fully uh, extended again by the use of this piston and I actually use this quite a lot also for those kind of counters, um, piston arrays um, for resetting, they're quite useful. Um, I also got some designs that don't use pistons, but they have a little bit of a disadvantage. They have, because of the torch actually being able to burn down, if you have uh, too low of a uh, uh, tick on your clock circuit, like so, it will actually burn out, like so and it will destroy a clock and that's not something you want so it has a minimum of uh, one two three four ticks a redstone torch is one tick so if i go ahead and press this it will have an output and the interesting thing is this actually has a this one um, if you put another repeater here they, these two signals will overlap but this signal is an inverse of this signal so you can either choose to have an inverted or a normal one and if I put another repeater here you can see they overlap in time so you actually get a sort of forward motion um, so yeah these are not very fast they're quiet don't um, cost quite as much as lag since the piston has to move the block back and forth back and forth which is actually causing somewhat more lag so if I press this button here it will also give a small output it doesn't uh, it's not as fast as uh, 
an action like those pistons being able to pulse three times inside a button duration but still it's a good clock um, if you want to stop it immediately just you have this res well it's not a reset line it's uh, an interruption line um, it interrupts this uh, torch from ever turning on which will make sure this is this circuit won't turn on by I am um, turn it on or off by using this piston uh, under it um, sorry piston torch under it which is controlled by this lever or this button depending on what you want of course I got here um, a design with a memory cell also all torches you obviously also can incorporate a piston memory cell but I like this one a bit more so we got a memory cell here this is uh, this goes up and down like this I'll just show you here so you put like this torch on here torch on here redstone does redstone does and if you toggle this like so or so doesn't really matter it will keep toggling between its two states and that's actually also what's in here then this torch gives a power to here which turns off this torch which is actually our whole clock circuit so if I turn this on by pressing this button you can see the clock is actually running now um, you don't have to have this line exactly like this as long as this power will uh, as this block will be powered by either torch redstone or a uh, repeater it doesn't actually matter <laughs> sorry um, we got here a, a reset or and a interruption line basically what it does it toggles um, the memory cell back to its state that the uh, clock won't work it will also automatically block the clock itself so you can call it a clock block no oh, bad joke really bad joke but yeah those are four of my most used clock designs I actually use and I find them quite useful they're also quite fast um, the piston ones can create some lag but I usually don't use them for long range um, long duration ticking if it's just say within 10 seconds or 20 seconds I usually use them I don't really like the use of pistons in redstone to be honest because they cause quite some more lag but they're quite useful for a lot of things so I won't be able to actually go around it but thanks to the repeater lock like in that design over there I'm actually to a I'm starting to get to cancel out some piston work so I'm quite happy about that so tell me what you thought and I'll see you next time